Latest developments in last night's mass shooting outside a funeral home on the south side. President Trump announces a surge of federal agents as well as we mentioned heading here to Chicago. What you're looking at right now, that is surveillance video of the moments those shots were fired on the south side of Chicago outside that funeral home. And all 15 people were injured, making this the largest single shooting in recent years here in Chicago. And good afternoon to you. We begin there. I'm Lourdes Duarte. And I'm Ben Bradley. 14 of the people who were shot last night remain hospitalized this afternoon. Several were last reported in critical condition. Police say this mass shooting was gang related. And it, as you can see, it's gaining national attention. WGN's Mike Lowe is live at Chicago Police Headquarters with reaction from the police superintendent and the mayor as well today. Mike. Lourdes and Ben, good afternoon to both of you. Chicago police are calling this the latest outrageous act in a cycle of violence and revenge. But Mayor Lori Lightfoot today says this is about more than gangs and guns. This is a difficult time to stand here because of the pain that we're all feeling. The pain we are feeling and the violence we are seeing. A surveillance camera recorded the brazen shooting that wounded 15 people. It was about 6.30 Tuesday evening in the Gresham neighborhood on Chicago's south side. Police say a group inside of a stolen Chevy Malibu pulled up to the Rhodes Funeral Home at 1018 West 79th Street. At least one person fired at a group attending the funeral. Several people, including children, can be seen frantically trying to avoid the gunfire. Police say the attendees fired back. The Malibu later crashed and the people inside ran in different directions. We believe that there were three suspects in this vehicle and we believe that two of them were shooters and that they fled the scene. Even in a violent summer, the situation was shocking because of the sheer number of victims and the amount of ammunition. Police said they found at least 60 shell casings at the scene. This is about gangs, guns, and drugs. Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown says the shootings are the result of an ongoing gang conflict that results in a cycle of violence and revenge, a problem of an almost unimaginable scale. There are over 117,000 gang members, 55 major gangs. This cycle of retaliation, picking up a gun, many times in petty, petty grievances, picking up a gun, that solves nothing but causes so much lifelong pain. Mayor Lori Lightfoot says she spent a restless night thinking about the problem and concluded that violence is the end result of longstanding societal inequities, segregated city neighborhoods toiling in poverty, and a lack of education and economic opportunity. Violence is a symptom, a symptom of communities that are crying out, young men, who don't believe that they have a future. Now, Chicago police say they did receive information about a potential shooting at that funeral home last night and that they did assign two squad cars and a tactical unit to the area. So far, no one has been arrested in this shooting, though one person was brought in for questioning. At this point, police are asking anyone with any information on the shooters to contact detectives at Area South, though they did acknowledge that when both sides are gang members, people coming forward with information is very unlikely. Reporting live this afternoon outside of Chicago Police Headquarters on the South Side, Mike Lowe, WGN News.